Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with how to make chicken stock. I can't believe I don't have a proper chicken stock tutorial on the site. So anyway, this was a food wish of many, many people over the last few years. And there it is, beautiful, beautiful homemade chicken stock. Sure, it takes time, but you're not doing anything. It's just simmering. So here we go. I have three pounds of chicken bones. I am partial to backs and necks. Some people like wings, some people like thighs. There's all kinds of theories, but I have necks and backs extremely inexpensive, which makes it nice. So three pounds of that. All right, and to that, we're gonna add the classic mirepoix. I'm gonna cut up an onion in like six or eight pieces. I leave the skin on. The skin actually colors the stock. All right, carrots, celery, a few sprigs of fresh thyme, one small bay leaf, I've broken a few pieces, nine black peppercorns, two peeled but not crushed cloves of garlic, and that is it. Do not put salt in this, all right? You don't salt chicken stock as it cooks. How would it screw it up? I don't know. Ask Alton Brown. And then I'm gonna fill it with three quarts of cold water, and then this is the crucial stage. It must be brought to a simmer, but not allowed to come to a rolling boil. All right, so we're looking at it. The first thing you're gonna notice is it heats up, it starts to get cloudy. All right, when you see it start to get cloudy, grab your ladle, you're gonna need it. Now you'll see small bubbles start to poke through the surface. See that? Tiny, tiny bubbles. And then those bubbles get a little bigger. And now we have a couple big bubbles coming. It's not boiling yet, but it wants to boil. It's just about ready to boil. At that point, back it down to low, back the heat down to low, and skim off any of the foam that comes to the top. All right, that's in the business we call that the scum. What's in there? I'm not sure. And really you shouldn't be wondering about what's in chicken scum, quite frankly. But it's some impurities and things like that, fat. We don't want that in there. So skim as much as that as you can. That looks pretty good. Now we're gonna adjust the heat until it looks like this. We want it simmering, not boiling. So that, to me, what you see right there is perfect. All right, that's gonna cook for eight to 12 hours. I'm a 12 hour guy, some people go six hours, some people go four hours, some people go eight hours, there's all kinds of theories. I'm a 12 hour guy, that's how we always did it in the restaurant, so that's how I do it. You do it how you want. Every once in a while I like to put in a small splash of cold water. All right, I like to keep the water level pretty even. Some people don't do that, they just let it reduce naturally. Uh, I'd rather have a chicken stock I could boil down, all right, than one that maybe over reduces. I want plenty of water in there to extract all that chicken flavor. So 12 hours later, I'm going to turn it off and let it cool, I don't know, for about an hour just like that. All right, so I'm going to strain that through a, just a fine sieve. Some freaks of nature actually put this through a coffee filter to get it extra, extra pure. Come on, you're why people don't cook more. Too complicated. We don't need this put through a coffee filter, okay? Look how clear that is already, it's beautiful. So the secret to a very, very clear stock is not boiling the impurities into it, not emulsifying any fat into it, not having the vegetables break up and dissolve and boil into the stock. That's why we want this really gentle simmer. Now, before we put this in jars and put it in the fridge, we gotta cool it down. I'm gonna take a bowl of ice water, put my bowl of strained chicken stock on top and just give it a stir. And 15 minutes later, you're gonna have a nice cool stock, which you could then put into mason jars and keep in the refrigerator until needed. All right, now keep in mind, there's no salt in this, there's no preservatives, so you're gonna to wanna to use this pretty quickly, within a couple days, or you're gonna to wanna to freeze it. You can put it in Ziploc bags, freeze it. Some people freeze it in ice cube trays and then put it in Ziploc bags, whatever you're into. So when I ladle this in, I like to put about a half inch to a quarter inch of the fat on top. That actually makes an airtight seal. So anyway, that's how you make chicken stock. Told you it was easy. You've seen me use chicken stock in the carton, chicken broth in the cartons many times. No problem with that. But once in a while, it's nice to make homemade stock. There really isn't anything like it. So there's my basic recipe. Go to this site, all the ingredients are there. And as always, enjoy.